Here is an explanation for the answer to final exam question number 60 in Physics Demystified, second edition. If you have the printed book, you'll find it on page 527. Which of the following units is a unit of thermal energy? And then we're given five choices. British thermal units per hour, calories per gram, kelvins per gram, kelvins per kilocalorie, and kilocalories. Well, the correct answer, the short and sweet correct answer here is kilocalories. That's choice E. British thermal unit is a unit of energy and a unit of thermal energy to boot, but a British thermal unit per hour is a unit of power, not energy. The calorie is a unit of energy, but calories per gram, not energy anymore, that's something else. Kelvins per gram, I don't think I've ever heard of a unit like that. I don't think it really even makes any sense. Kelvin is a unit of temperature, of absolute temperature, but not energy. The gram, of course, a unit of mass. Kelvins per kilocalorie? Well, once again, the kilocalorie is itself a unit of thermal energy, but kelvins per kilocalorie? No. That would be something else. That would express something else besides thermal energy. So the only unit listed here that is strictly a unit of thermal energy is the kilocalorie. That uh, a kilocalorie, by the way, is also known as a diet calorie. That is the calorie that you hear about when you're trying to lose or gain weight. Generally, if they burn up a slice of bread, for example, they just combust it. They can calculate the number of kilocalories released in that event. And in a typical slice of bread that you buy at the store, about 75 kilocalories. Maybe if it's real good, heavy bread, the kind I like or used to like when I could eat that stuff, maybe it'd have 100 kilocalories. Anyway, that's the answer. Choice E.